Well, good morning again, everybody. This is uh, day seven of our adventures uh, at Golden Bay, and I don't know whether you can see me, hopefully, or even hear me, but it's another early one. It's stupid o'clock in the morning again. We got up at half past four this morning, but I was awake about three o'clock. Uh, we've come down to Fossil Point to a beach down here to get the sunrise and uh, you probably can't see that it's blown out but there's the sunrise um, show it to you oh, here comes the water I think the, the tide is incoming I think um, so I will show you the back of the camera uh, no you're not going to see that either um, we came here yesterday for a bit of a recce and thought that Early morning sunrise might be nice light, and that's exactly what we're getting. So um, I'll take a couple of these sunrise shots, and then we're going to head down uh, to the point a bit more where all the the rocks are, and we'll see what we can get down there if we can get there um, because the tide is in uh, quite considerably from what it was yesterday when we were here at low tide. But I think the tide is going out maybe or turn, starting to turn so we'll see but we'll see what we'll get from here this morning at Fossil Point day seven of our trip um, I'll just take that photo pretty straightforward F11 ISO 200 and that's giving me about one and a half seconds um, so yeah we'll we'll have a look around here this morning and uh, take some more photos to see what we can get and today is another bit of a travel day uh, going through Takika to some caves, Rafiki caves uh, and then a place called The Grove so we might, um, I'll just move the camera because the tide is coming in I think we might vlog some of that as well so sit back, relax and uh, enjoy day seven of our trip down to Golden Bay. come down a bit further down the beach uh, to where some rocks start forming and you get some lovely kind of pools sort of happening around the rocks um, in here some lovely pooling areas around the rocks and so um, I've set up a composition with those rocks pooling the water in the foreground the sunset in the background but I am having to be a bit careful because the tide I think certainly is coming in. Um, I've put my, if I can have a look around here at the camera, I've put my six stop neutral density filter on there and with a f-stop of f11 it's giving me about a 20 second exposure um, at ISO 200 and yeah that's looking pretty nice. Um, I do have to be careful because the waves are coming in um, and you also have to be careful around here because um, it's a beach that gets a lot of wildlife uh, you get seals up here on the beach so you have to be careful that you don't run into any of them because um, they can look a lot like boulders lying in the sand at this time of the day um, and you also get a lot of um, nesting birds that get quite territorial when we were here yesterday we were getting dive bombed um, by some territorial nesting birds so you do have to be a little careful but um, I'm just moving up the beach a little further looking for any seals I got some seals yesterday uh, and got dive bombed as I said so um, I might put up some photos that I took yesterday it was the middle of the day so the light wasn't fantastic but um, 
Got some nice seal shots, so I'll put them up now. Sunrise is happening quite quickly and we are getting a lot more colour in that sky. Um, I have been playing around, as I said, with the six dot neutral density filter, but um, which is obviously slowing down the, the waves and smoothing everything out. Um, but I've actually also been taking some photos with it off uh, to give myself a faster shutter speed and I'm not entirely sure which ones I like the best. Um, in, in some ways I actually like seeing the formation of the waves so I'll pop two of those up and um, let me know down in the comments below which one you like do you prefer the long exposure of about 15 to 20 seconds or do you prefer the, the faster exposure uh, of about half a second where you can actually see some of the movement in that water so yeah let me know in the comments down below Um, the iPhone's picking up quite a lot of light now, but um, trust me, it's not as light as it appears um, on the video. And I am still having to keep one eye on this tide that's coming in, because every time I set up a shot and take a few, um, that, that tide starts encroaching uh, on my shot and on me and my tripod, and I don't really want to get wet this early in the morning. Um, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning here and I am just um, wandering up and down the beach picking out some of these little rocks with some um, tidal pooling happening around them and uh, taking photos of that so a few more of those and um, yeah that, that might be it unless I wander around and find a few more compositions we'll see but as I said today um, we're heading off to uh, past Takaka out to the grove and to Rafiki Caves so I may vlog that um, I may not sometimes um, I'm just doing photography and, and leaving the, the video gear behind because it is a bit more to carry around with me but I'll see how I feel see how I go um, and we'll take it from you yesterday was a bit of a slog uh, Tim and I walked um, the, the cliff top walk um, which is about well it's about a three hour walk from Puponga to um, to the Cape and um, but we did it in about two hours 15 which was <laughs> sounds impressive but man was it exhausting uh, so I'm taking it a bit easier today, I think, and uh, yeah, we'll see how the leads hold out. So this is me signing off at uh, Fossil Point this morning. Um, I hope you've enjoyed some of the photographs I've taken. Um, if I take some more, I'll pop them up now. But other than that, um, thanks for watching. This is, as I said at the beginning of this vlog, day seven. Uh, of nine days, so only a couple of days left. Um, Going to be very, very sad to leave this place and go back to reality. Um, but it's been an amazing, amazing time away. We've been so lucky with the weather. There's not a breath of wind this morning down here. 
just so still, so calm, so peaceful. Um, so yeah, as I said um, in my previous vlogs, if you can make it to this part of the country, if you're in New Zealand, it's well worth it. It's just such a gorgeous place. So thanks for watching. Haere Ra from Fossil Point at um, Golden Bay. And we'll catch you in the next vlog. See you then. Bye.